Tonight's DJ and TV show is sponsored in part by Electro Voice. DJ Event Planner. ADJ. NLFX Professional. Promo Only. Newmark. And DJ and TV Insiders. Hi, this is John Young with the Disc Jockey News and Disc Jockey News TV. Thank you for joining us tonight out on Facebook and out there on YouTube. For tonight's show, we've got a special guest. Maybe it's just you. Hey, this is John Young with the Disc Jockey News and Disc Jockey News TV. And today we're going to be talking on our Tuesday tip about a question that DJs have all the time or struggle. And that is basically where they're, they're feeling that they're losing events because of their pricing. Their pricing is too high and they're losing events for it. So let's kind of dig into that just a little bit as far as is this a reality or is this kind of a, a situational thing that they're maybe not viewing correctly. First off, when it comes to the, the pricing for the event, whatever your event is, some people are going to look at it and there's going to be people who will buy regardless of the cost. There's going to be people who will only want to buy the absolute most inexpensive version of whatever it is to cover what they need. And then there's the whole the whole gamut between the two. You're going to find that most people are going to be very comfortable paying for what they consider a fair a fair rate for a fair service where they're going to get good value for their money. This is the key problem with why a lot of DJs are losing what they view as they're I'm losing events because my prices are too high is that they were not able to convey their value, what they're bringing to the table. They're viewing the idea that they're conveying their value by showing all this gear. You know, I've got mixers, I've got microphones, I've got booms, and I've got this and that and the other thing, and all these different things that are going on. That's what they're thinking gives value. They need to give value from the perspective of the client. What does the client feel is important? What is the client going to value? Are they going to value your microphone, or are they going to value being able to hear the announcements? Are they going to do they value the the sound system that can do you know 190 gazillion watts on the dance floor or are they going to to value the sound that's going to fill the dance floor and that value and, and that sound isn't going to be too loud for the older guests that are over on the sides whatever you've got to really turn things around a little bit and sell that value once they see the value they're going to understand it well it's some they all they want is a price yes all they all that's all they know is the price but to find out more about what they need and what things that are important to them and the value statements that can work with them, you can put that together. If you don't, you're going to have them just shopping on that price. And they're going to be sometimes seeming to leave you because of the price. Not always. Sometimes you're going to have your price set here. And the problem is, is that they're looking for someone up here. You think they left you uh, on price because they wanted down here. No, they were looking to go and they wanted more service. They wanted more things and you weren't charging enough, so obviously you weren't a professional enough to give them what they perceived that they needed to be up here. It's kind of like someone who's, who's owned a BMW and, and loves a BMW. They're not going to go buy a, a Kia because they want to make sure that they're getting what they, the value and, the, and such that kind of goes with the spending more to get that vehicle. That's life. A lot of people are like that. That's not unusual. So don't be thinking everybody who leaves you is leaving you because of your of you're being too high of a price. Sometimes it's that. The other side of it is that you're probably again not showing the value, but you probably don't have a consistent enough look to convey that value message. You might look like you're kind of a, maybe a fly by night. Your website might look kind of crappy, dated or crappy. You might have pictures on there that are, are offending people. You might on social media have, have things up there that just make you look like you're a, a $100 person instead of a $500 person. Or you have pictures and things that make you look like instead of you're 500 instead of 1,000, whatever it is. You've got to make sure that you can show your value. You've got to be able to show you have a consistent image. And you've got to be able to convey these things in a regard to the client so that they feel that, yes, this person is – interested in my event this person is interested in creating something with me that will be an incredible day and once you do these things they're not going to leave you because of price they're going to leave you because they might not be a good fit they might leave you because they don't like you and that's okay but it's not very very seldom is it about price 
If this is your first time watching one of our Tuesday tips, I want to thank you for watching. You can check down below. In the, uh, the kind of description area, there's going to be a link where you can go out and you can see all the different Tuesday tips that we've done over the last couple of years. And, of course, if you have a question or a thought or an idea of how you can help to convey your value when it comes to this, please put that down in the comment section way down below because those types of ideas of, of how we can convey our value to our, our, our prospects is so critical. And DJs, we need to learn from each other when it comes to this stuff because I don't have all the answers. You don't have all the answers. But if we put our heads together and you have one answer and I have – you have one answer and I have – now we have two answers. Hey, that works. So please share your thoughts down in the comment section down below. This is John Young with the Disc Jockey News with today's Tuesday Tip.